All right, welcome back to Texelated Isolated with Technology. And today we're going to take a look at the CAD Audio E100SX Large Diaphragm Studio Condenser Microphone. All right, so here it is. Hopefully a microphone upgrade to the mics that I'm already using right now. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and this one has been sounding really good. Um, it's a brand that I don't hear much about. It's 90 year old brand based out of the US. The price was very reasonable, 219 Canadian. So I said, why not? Let's try it out. If it's, if it's terrible on my voice, I just bring it back. But um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay on my voice. So what do we have here? So this is what the mic looks like. Like I said in the intro, CAD Audio E100SX. Let's see what it says here. It says um, one inch nickel plated capsule. High sensitivity, low noise, low distortion. Highly effective, low profile shock mount. Smooth. Articulate, true to life, reproduction. Supercardioid pattern provides enhanced isolation for room noise and nearby instruments. Ideal for voiceovers, acoustic instruments, percussion, podcasting, or vocal performance. So let's uh, put it to the test, shall we? All right, and you can see the specifications here on this side. Um, it's a condenser, supercardioid, 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz sensitivity minus 32 dbv impedance 150 ohm max spl 136 i believe that's a very important number for microphones uh self noise 9.5 dba high pass 100 hertz 6 db and power requirements p48 1.6 milliamp let's get into this thing see what we have in the box it shows a diagram of the microphone you can hit pause and check it out if you like looks like straight out the box they give you some replacement o-rings these are for the shock mount if the o-rings on the shock mount of the microphone breaks i'll show you that once i pull out the mic then you got uh i guess a brochure for all their products again it's a brand that i don't hear often um but doing my research on this mic um the sound was exceptional for the person's voice anyways it may not be for mine use of this product can expose you to bpa bpa is known to see that's not good Shouldn't be using BPA in products if it causes problems. Gotta, gotta change that up, cat. No BPA in your products. All right. So this is showing you the polar pattern and the frequency response. Pretty flat until it gets into the highs. It uh, dips just a little bit towards the end there, which is okay. All right, so that's that. All right, so here is the mic. It's like a square. And it, this thing is pretty heavy. Did not expect it to be this heavy. Very interesting. The weight feels really solid. Feels very premium. Here's the shock mount system. As you can see, there's some of oh, the O-rings that were in the bag earlier are right here oh this one is out of place actually i have to fix this one yep i have to fix that one um yeah so this is where you'd plug in your xlr this is where you would actually mount it let's see if there's anything else in the box I doubt it Nope, that is everything. So 
on the front of the microphone, you have a high pass filter, flat, or you could roll off some of the low end. And then you have a 10 dB pad. If you're saying something or you're playing an instrument that's too loud, cut it by 10 dB. For now, we'll leave it at zero dB and high pass filter to flat. And that's it. Now I'm gonna connect it. We're gonna test the quality. I'm gonna try to fix this O-ring right here, which is definitely not in the right position. So I'll be back with a sound sample shortly. Stay tuned. All right, just so you know, I fixed that O-ring. It was pretty easy. I just grabbed it with my two fingers and pulled it over. So now the mic is properly seated in its shock mount. So no issues there. Very quick fix. All right, so this is the CAD E100SX setup. I'm about a fist away. I'm using the same settings that I had with the other mic I was using, which was the SE Electronics V7. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I don't have any pop filter happening. I'm just doing this straight into the capsule. But again, I am about a fist away. So let me know what you think in the comments below. This thing is super sensitive. It is picking up all the noises that my other mic couldn't pick up. Again, this is a condenser microphone, which is very sensitive. I had to turn down the dBs about 15 dBs lower than the SE Electronics V7 that I was using before. Again, I have the pad set to zero dB and I have the high pass filter set to flat. So it's not taking out any bass in my voice. So there you have it. The CAD Audio E100SX. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for joining me inside the isolation chamber. You've been watching Texelated, Isolated with Technology, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.